Hi everyone, welcome back to Notorious Crafts. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can make these miniature gift bags and presents. These are great for your dollhouses or dioramas or Barbies. These are great to use for different holidays like Christmas, Valentine's Day, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, or birthdays, or you can also put them in your miniature boutiques or stores. I start off by making a template just using regular white paper. So I measure it out to the size of the gift bag that I want. You don't have to use a template, but if you plan on making a lot of gift bags, using a template is great for uniformity. I'm shading in these corners since that is what I will be cutting out once I am done. I am adding in these little dash marks just to indicate where I will be folding the paper later. I then cut out my template along the lines that I drew and then I will also be cutting out the little shaded area since that's where we will make folds. I also made a smaller template just so I have a variety of bags. Using the template, I'm just tracing on using a pencil to some scrapbook paper, and I drew some paper that looks like a candy cane since I wanted this bag to be a Christmas theme. And then just cut out along the markings that you drew, and if you end up with some pencil markings in the end, just erase them with your pencil. That's why you want to use a pencil for those. And along these corners is where you will be making your fold. So I like to grab a ruler or just something with a straight edge to fold across so that you get a nice, clean, crisp line. Once all of the folds are in, you're going to want to take the two very bottom flaps and overlap them and then just apply a little bit of tacky glue and hold them down until they're secure in place. You're going to do the same thing with the side flaps. Just apply some glue to them and then hold the flaps down until they are secure. Usually you want to hold it down for maybe about a minute until the glue starts drying. To create the handles of the bag, I'm just using two pieces of white ribbon. You can use any color that you want. I'm just choosing one that will match my bag. And then I add some tacky glue to the inside and then just hold down the ribbon until it is dry and the ribbon is secure in place. And then I'm also going to add some ribbon to the other side. So it's the same exact process and I'm doing that so that I have two handles. For my next bag, I want it to be smaller, so I'm using the smaller template, and I have just some solid green scrapbook paper that I'm using to create it. I have found that scrapbook paper is my favorite type of paper to use to create gift bags and presents for my miniatures, since they usually have some very pretty prints. Now, you do want to make sure that the print is not too big, because then it won't show up fully on your gift bag or present. So in choosing some scrapbook paper, just make sure that the print is very small or if you're finding one that has stripes, that the lines are very thin. Just like how I chose one that had thin lines for my candy cane bag. For this smaller bag, I am just using some string that I have for the handles. You can try different types of material that works for you for the handles. So depending on the type of bag or the look that I want, that is what I'm using for the handle material. Next up, I am making the presents. For all of my presents, I use a wood piece as a base. I have them in different shapes and sizes. For the wrapping paper, I am also using scrapbook paper since I have found that they have that really small print that I want. I cut out the paper to the size of the wood block and it's just like how you would wrap a present in real life, but this time it is just much smaller in size. And I am creating folds all around the entire block just so that I get those nice, clean, crisp fold lines. And then I apply some glue to the wooden block and you want to make sure that it is very thin before you apply it to the paper just so that your paper doesn't start warping or have any wrinkles. And to help with that, I do use a toothpick 
um, just to even out the glue so it doesn't all clump to one side. And then you're just going to continue doing that until your block is entirely wrapped around. And then you're just going to let the glue dry before you move on to the next step. On this side that has the end of the paper, you're just going to push it in towards the block. And again, I am creating my folds before I apply any glue. And then you're going to take the two side flaps and then push them inward. Apply your glue after you have created all of your folds. Use a toothpick just to spread out the glue. And then the very last flap, once you have it, just add some glue. And I usually press it down towards the bottom of my mat. And sometimes the glue comes out, so then I just take it off before it dries. And apply the same steps to the other side. Here is how the final present looks like. To create a ribbon all around the present, I'm using this larger piece of plastic ribbon and just cutting it into much smaller pieces. I wrap one piece around the entire present and then just tie a knot at the end. I take another piece of ribbon and then wrap it around the side that does not have any ribbon on it yet and then tie it also at the end. Using a pair of scissors, I use the sharp end just to curl the ends of the ribbon. And then I repeat the same exact process on some smaller pieces of blocks that I have to create a variety of sizes for my presents. You can buy these wooden blocks at most craft stores. So I got these, I think either at Hobby Lobby or at Michael's, but if I find them, I'll put a link for them down below if you wanna buy the same exact ones that I am using. And here is some cute bunny paper that I found at Hobby Lobby. So this will make a great gift bag for an Easter miniature. And then here is some St. Patrick's Day paper that I turned into a gift bag. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more videos. I am always creating something new. So subscribe so you don't miss those future videos. You can also add some tissue paper inside of the bags and for that I just cut up some tissue paper into smaller pieces and just stuck them inside of the bag. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.